There is getaway Trump uh, making his way down to the start with uh, Harry Cobden on board. So very interesting to hear from Paul Nichols speaking with uh, Nick on course. And behind him is not that free say for uh, Dan Skelton, Harry Skelton on board. And then you've got uh, Chaos Marcius, who's a very big outsider for Nicky Richards, but uh, obviously up against uh, better opposition, but has been winning and no doubt comes here flying fit but uh, up against it but Al Dancer the uh, even money favourite strong favourite now for the square and the air dot com novices chase looking forward to this one Nick yeah I'm looking forward to it Rachel there's getaway Trump going down to post oh, he looks well doesn't he I thought he did I thought he looked and he, he's got plenty of substance to him mm. you know, the way he won over hurdles wasn't that of a flashy hurdler who the, you might think of upping to chasing but of a, a resolute galloper, and hopefully that's what it'll appear. Now, quick updates. All the jockeys that anyone's spoken to have been unanimous, good to soft. Time, I was way out, I, mean, I got the right time, but it was nearly 40 seconds outside standard, but Tom Scudamore, who rode the pacemaker, said, I didn't go any pace. Yeah, they it, went very slowly, yeah. and, the, and the wind into their faces in the straight would have slowed them enormously. It would have done. So I, I think we'll accept that it's good to soft. And the clerk of the course tells me that we've had the rain for today, that any more that we were meant to get is blown through. So yes. we might be lucky, but we're still due, obviously, plenty overnight and tomorrow. Yeah, the band is just to the north of us, yeah, I think. I think so, but uh, we're not going to avoid it tomorrow. So there is Getaway Trump yep. on the right of shot for Paul Nichols and Harry Cobden. The horse has been schooling a long time. He's officially the highest rated of these, but he's not favourite. He's six to four. The favourite is Al Dancer, and we'll get another look at him just as Getaway Trump naps away from the three furlong pole there. Let's have a look at Al Dancer for Nigel and Sam Twist and Davis. As I said, if you were with us earlier, this was the venue where he first really caught the imagination and he went on to do better things. Yeah, very, very much. Uh, a facile winner of a, a quite what looked a competitive handicap here last December and then followed up of a much higher mark at the uh, revised Betfair hurdle, wasn't it? At Ascot. Not the strongest running of that race, I didn't no, think. No, not surprising, he's given it had to be rescheduled. And then without the hood at, at the festival, somewhat disappointing. And I say, he, he definitely looked on his toes in the paddock. Hood back on. Yes, a plus has to be, I think. Definitely. See if we can grab a look at him, the grey Al Dancer. The Twist and Davis team appear to have started the jump season proper in the way they normally do? Yes, it sort of seems to kick in late September. And uh, for the last month, they've been firing in plenty of winners. There he is, Al Dancer, even money now. Just that one blip on his record, and that one blip came here at the festival behind Classical Dream. He's now 11 to 10 on, 13 to 8 getaway Trump, so the differential in price just increases that little bit, and the race is likely to be broken open, you would have thought, by Caius Marcius, who's been busy during the late summer, early autumn. Not often Nicky Richards has runners at Newton Abbott, but he's plundered a couple of their good prizes to good effect. Yes, and he's uh, a horse who was, what, virtually a 140 hurdler, and he's proved to be a better chaser. Uh, cheap pieces seem to have been a help to him. He's won six of ten starts in those, and you'd expect him, if, if nothing else will, to definitely make the running. 8 to 1. And what of not that Fuise, who's a useful horse? He was a staying on but never dangerous second behind Al Dancer in that handicap hurdle here last year. When I say staying on but never dangerous, I mean coming from another parish and really never threatening. But he does look like a chaser. He does. Uh, of course, most of his form is at longer trips than this. So if it is, if it does turn into a, a proper test of stamina, then uh, that won't harm him at all. It's just that just his just his lack of oomph in a finish that gets me. And they are coming forward, this quartet. I can say a proper good afternoon now to our commentator, John Hunt. Thank you very much indeed, Nick. What a race this should be. See how Dancer is pretty revved up, isn't he? Once again, not for the first time, he's tossing his head around. I thought he looked magnificent going to post. And this really should be a, an excellent race. We wish all four of them a safe conveyance. The role of honour in this race, not particularly distinguished, but you just can't help but feel whoever comes out on top here is going to have a bright, bright future ahead over fences. 
So the start is ready for them now. Al Dancers got very revved up down at the start. I bet uh, his rider Sam Twiston Davis can't wait for it to start. And they are now on their way. Off and racing, the square in the air.com, novices chase, four talented horses ridden by four great Corinthians. And Keys Masius is the first one over the first fence to show ahead of Al Dancer and Getaway Trump back in third place and not that fusee well and truly out the back door in these early stages. Fence number two, not that fusee, took a little bit of a chance at that in fourth place, just rubbed the top of the fence. The other three were excellent and now they're moving towards the two fences in the home straight proper here. Uh, the fourth we'll, we'll get a particularly good view of. But here's the third to worry about first. Keys Marcius, Brian Hughes, perfectly content to let this horse be by far and away the most experienced bowl on. And both he and the second horse, Al Dancer, made bad mistakes there. Keys Marcius just didn't pick his feet up. He was better at the fourth. So too was Al Dancer. So they do appear to have learnt immediately from those mistakes at fence number three. Meanwhile, Getaway Trump happily bowling along without any blemish back in third place. And not that fusee is the back marker, but well in touch. Now the plain fence by the best made enclosure with Keys Marcius taking another chance. He took a real liberty there, didn't he? Almost bounced Brian Hughes out of the saddle. But Brian, for the second time in the race, sat tight. Goodness me, his task looked hard enough beforehand, giving away all that weight. But mistakes like that make it doubly difficult. Let's see if he can learn again as they approach the next of their fences. Keys Marcius, good jump that time from Al Dancer. In third place is Getaway Trump and not that fusee, still just lobbing along at the back end of the field. On they go now towards the seventh of their fences. Keys Marcius out in front from Al Dancer and then Getaway Trump and not that fusee. There were no alarms there. Fence number eight is an open ditch. Keys Marcius at it now and he jumped it fine. When his mind's on the job, he did, is capable of jumping really, really well. He just had those two blemishes where it appeared he lost concentration, nearly paid for it, but he's still in front. Fence nine, good again there from Al Dancer and Getaway Trump. They remain evenly spaced as they climb the hill with not that fusee. Harry Skelton's just been popping away at the back end of the field, still in touch, and they race now up towards the top of the hill. Keys Marcia still leading from Al Dancer. Al Dancer jumped that one really well. So too did Getaway Trump. And the two of them just eased that little bit closer on the tail of Keys Marcius. And behind them, not that fusee. Harry Skelton's just lost a length or two, but he still looks fairly untroubled. But now the business end of the race. The Square in the Air dot com novices chase looked a really fascinating race on paper. And it's developing just like that as they come down towards the third last fence. It'll be Keys Marcius in front, but both Al Dancer and Getaway Trump, widest of all, looking for clear ground and all hoping for good jumps from here on in. Al Dancer jumped well. First real mistake from Getaway Trump, just put him slightly on the back foot. Not that fusee also made a mistake with a lot of work to do. Down they come towards the second last. Al Dancer moving alongside Keys Marcius. Getaway Trump coming right back at them on the outside. And they're about to swing round into the home straight with just two more fences left to go. And now the big two take over. Getaway Trump puts Al Dancer under a huge pressure here. Keys Marcius can't go with them. Two out. Getaway Trump in close. Fiddled over it. Al Dancer's now got the lead. One left to jump. Al Dancer. Sam Twiston Davis at the last. Oh, he jumped that one fine. He's away by three lengths. Over Getaway Trump in second. Not that fusee and Keys Marcius will get round. Al Dancer driven right out up the hill here. Getaway Trump can't go with him. Indeed, not that fusee is getting up for second place. But Al Dancer's going to make a winning start over fences. Al Dancer's home to beat not that fusee, Getaway Trump and Keys Marcius last of four. Al Dancer wins for the Twist and Davis team. The market foretold the story once again. Uh, for all he wasn't the highest rated, he was sharpest going into this race, clearly by the evidence of what we've just seen. Not that we say it's past Getaway Trump for second. Getaway Trump was travelling at least as well as the winner turning for home, but appears just to have run out of a little puff up the hill, and the trainer Paul Nichols said he'd be better for the race. Right, Jonathan Neeson, what did you make of that? Interesting. Uh, I mean, it's a 
surprised one or two of them didn't fall, particularly Kias Mar Marcius, given uh, the two mistakes he made. But it did look very soon as if getaway Trump was going to win. And given that he's a, a certainly a stout stayer at two miles, then you'd have to concur with the idea that he has just blown up because he's come sweeping around the outside. Looks like he's going better than Al Dancer. Gets out jumped two out. Comprehensively. Yeah, and that's that's it. Suddenly he's got nothing left to give. And the winner has run on really well. I think he's definitely a, a two miler. Absolutely through and through and he's stayed on really strongly to notch what is quite quite a taking win in a time that is much more in accord with a good to soft dish ground and no worse. And not that Fuise has been ridden to pick up pieces and yeah. pick up pieces he has to a pretty significant extent. Yes, he has. He's, he's, he's grabbed second when the others have tired. I mean, he made one or two mistakes of his own. Uh, he's, he, he flattered, yes, but nevertheless, he's got second. Not quite time for the duffel coat yet, still the black raincoat, but the trademark Twiston Davis finish and the uh, trademark embrace from David Minson. Ah. Yes. We're back at Cheltenham yeah. <laughs> for National Hunt Racing. Yes, all the familiar faces. And Al Dancer, whose one blip came at the Cheltenham Festival with the hood back on today, has produced a, a good round of jumping to win his first chase in the colours of Di Walters for Team Twiston. So Fergal O'Brien takes the first, Nigel Twiston Davis takes the second, as I said. Here's Rachel with the result. Yeah, a couple of errors, but uh, yes, yeah, strong and fit and gets the job done. 10 to 11, the favourite, not that Fusé running on for second, it's 16 to 1.